What's up guys, it's Haiti. So today's video is going to be all about my life updates. So basically it is just going to be like uh, kind of me updating to you guys what I've been doing. It's kind of like a chit chat video which is like not about beauty and fashion. I'm sorry because today is not Saturday. Today I think I'm going to upload it on a Wednesday because I usually upload this type of videos on Wednesday. So I'm going to say it's Wednesday. But don't worry, there will still be a beauty and fashion related video up on this Saturday. So if you guys are interested in this video, you guys can totally skip it and then just wait for one this Saturday. But if you guys are interested in what I've been doing lately, uh, I will just, you know, kind of talk about my life right now. And I'll also be answering some frequently asked questions because I don't know why, but lately I've been getting lots of those. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on with this video. Hey, right, so first of all, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys should already know that I just graduated high school. I think I deserve some applause for that. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, but seriously though, I just graduated high school and I am so excited. Like, don't get me wrong, like high school is fun, but college is like the whole concept is like way cooler. And yes, yeah, so I'm studying in college right now, but I'm majoring in English, which is kind of the only subject that I'm really good at. So yeah. Awesome, but it's okay because I love English and I, that's kind of like my main goal like was to like major in English in the university uh, when I grow up so I kind of consider one of my goals achieved and I'm kind of taking six different classes right now I'm not sure if this is like how you guys are seeing it but like five of them are compulsory and one of them is my elective and my compulsory classes include my English communication, introduction to linguistic English literature, um, business, and Chinese, and my elective is Korean. Yay, I'm learning a new language. Like, to be honest, I'm excited, but it's just kind of hard. Like, I seriously need to, like, pick a more on that. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's, like, the classes that I'm doing. Like, we have to do essays, we have to hand in group project, individual project, um, do presentation, and all this kind of stuff, you know, just regular school stuff, and I don't want to bore you guys with that, so let's just get on to the next topic. <laughs> all right, then let's move on to some frequently asked questions, shall we? So, first of all, um, since I, like I said, I'm taking English classes, mostly and I speak English in like this channel many people seem confused about like my first language but um to you know just to let you guys know my mother language is actually Chinese yes I speak um Cantonese since I was born uh, my parents speak Cantonese uh, all of my friends speak Cantonese and I use Cantonese in my everyday life and I only use English when I was having lessons or um, when I'm making a video I guess <laughs> and yeah so you know just to clarify things so I am not a native speaker so which is why sometimes my grammar is so messed up like Oh, I have the worst grandma. Alright, so another question people seem to start asking is that it seems to me that once you've like started college, people will start asking you what you want to do with your life. And that is a very interesting question. Personally, I have absolutely no idea because, come on, I just graduated high school. I just started college like a month ago and I have absolutely no clue what I want to do in life and I'm just enjoying this process. I mean, I'm growing up slowly, even maybe like slower than most people, but I am growing up bits by bits. And yeah, I just think that we don't have to like rush into this type of things. I mean, finding a maybe like the career for you can take a while. I mean, it is a huge decision and I don't want to like make them so quickly before I really like explore everything in my life so far. So I think I'm just gonna wait. But you know, I know there are people out there who are like just really determined like, um, I don't know, People, maybe like they want to be a scientist, they want to be a doctor, they want to be a psychologist, whatever. Uh, if you guys know what you guys 
really want that's really awesome but maybe because i'm only studying english like i'm not studying in those really um specific <laughs> subject like um medicine or you know just medical area of things or yeah something like that or engineering those type of things so I decided to you know just to you know, give myself some space just to find what I really want to do in life like, who knows maybe you know I'll be a writer or be an editor or I have no idea I just have to see what my future has in store for me all right, so another question, uh, actually this is not exactly a question, just something I wanted to say. Many people seem to think that it is like a must to date in college, like, I don't know where this come from, but maybe like in Hong Kong, people just start to expect you to start dating when you're in college or even in high school, I don't know, but personally, I'm completely okay with being alone, like, why can't I be? If you guys have already like find someone to date that's awesome. If you are happy then why not start dating? Uh, that's really fine. But if you guys are, you know, kind of like me, just, I don't know, kind of slow in this kind of area and you guys just want to be alone or be with friends that's also fine there's no rules in how to live your life so i just think that it's kind of weird and people seem to have this weird expectation that i mean maybe like some people like come with them, oh you're 18 and you still haven't dated anyone and i would be like yeah is that a problem with that and you know that's just kind of be like an awkward silence and yeah let's just skip all of that and just embrace each other because we are happy individuals personally i don't think there's any problem with dating and not dating uh but in like just you know rules that are for me i just think that you have to be happy with yourself before like finding that special someone like is it like how you guys call it because i just think that it would be kind of weird like to depend your happiness on others and that can be really tough if you ask me like i i don't know why i sometimes depend my happiness on other things or people as well and they usually don't end up in a good way so personally i am learning to you know just to try to find happiness within myself and be happy with who i am first before i start to maybe like actually look for a lifelong partner all right so the last question is actually a uh, question that I've been asked a lot is, it is do I regret starting my YouTube channel which I found kind of weird because I mean I'm still doing it which means I'm still loving every minute of it if I hated it I would have just stopped um, I totally do not regret starting it in fact I couldn't be more grateful that I started it like I think like in like the course of last two years i have changed a lot like not only maybe like my style but my personality like how i see life everything in my world is changing and i just i think that you know having this channel is kind of as like a small way as like a documentary in my life like and maybe like you know someday when i grow up i can you know watch some of my old videos and just see like how i see things before like that would be so cool and many people seem to think that like once i've got my channel i just don't have time to balance anything else and i just don't understand why they have this concept because like for me maybe like my main thing right now is uh, my studies my responsibility at school and in my family but my youtube channel can be my hobby like people can do two things at once like, i mean everyone has their own hobby right like some people like to read some people like to watch movies listen to music or whatever um like for me maybe like kind of like my job is my responsibility as a student and my hobby is my channel so doing my youtube channel is like completely separated from what i'm doing i mean it is part of my life but uh yeah editing videos filming them uploading them all takes time but i mean it's not like everyone can like 
work 24 7 like i can't study 24 7 i would absolutely i would just go absolutely crazy and that would not be a pretty scene and i just don't want to push myself like that because i know that if i just you know go all out for my study i would just you know maybe like end up in a mental institution um i just want to give myself a breather and my channel is kind of like my way of relaxing so yeah that's your answer right so that's all for this video hope you guys like it if you guys do make sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'm actually thinking of getting to 300 subscribers by christmas that would be really cool yay my christmas and so yeah i guess that really is all and i'll see you guys this saturday with another video god bless you guys and i'll see you guys later bye